Hello everyone, I'm Josh Oaks with the smartsocial.com podcast. Today we have a mom and her 16 year old son and we're talking about their brand new shiny website. Caden and Tracy, welcome to the podcast. It's good to have you here. Thank you. Thanks. Now what city are you in right now? Parkersburg, Iowa. That's awesome. Now you built a website with us. I'm, I'm so, Caden, I'm so proud of you. You're 16 years old. Everybody that's watching us right now on YouTube, we're going to go ahead and show everybody the screen. This is cadenc.com. You went from start to finish on your website. Do you mind if I brag about you for just a hot sec? Not at all. All right. So this is your website and everybody that's watching it, if you're listening in on iTunes, Caden C is Caden Campbell's website. He's a sophomore at a high school and it has the first picture is his mission trip in Haiti where he went to volunteer and it has art projects. If you scroll down a little bit, a Haiti mission trip and travel and on the art projects, which is a really big part of Caden's life. It's I love art and I'm constantly creating something in some way. And it's a pictures of some of the stuff he's created from fun painting a pumpkin, black and white painting of a golfer, grayscale drawings, octopus created out of clay. You're very talented. Thank and you. then your next page is a Haiti mission trip, which is incredible. Uh, you did a great job. You left justified this. It's all built on a really easy to use system. You describe the Haiti mission trip. There's photos and so on. Now, what was the process like? Talk to me real quick about this, Caden. What did you, how did you feel the process of building your own website was? Uh, it was really, really simple to use. And it was just so fun, like uh, picking out pictures to put in there and then just going in uh, depth about them and just talking about myself. It's kind of fun. That's awesome. Uh, now, Tracy, how did you, you're, you're the mom of this process, if you will. How did you feel that this went? I think it went really well. I didn't really have to do much with him at all. Just kind of let him know, we got to get this, get this going. I want to see what it looks like. And I'm super excited to see his end product. Um, I think he was super excited to get it done. And so it didn't take much for me to get him to do it. Nothing at all, actually. That's awesome. Yeah, you guys showed up. You were prepared. Um, talk to us about your Haiti mission trip. Kind of what I'm going to show everybody the 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 screen. Uh, you know, I was actually inspiring other students last night, as I told you offline. I show students now when I go to schools. I'll oftentimes do a a bit of a workshop before I get to the school, so that a bunch of students have a website. I give the speech on stage, teaching students how to Google themselves and why the website's an important resume builder, so that we can really fall in love with the Caden that we're looking for and not find all these other ones. We can say, whoa, this is the one we need for our internship or our college. And students were inspired last night by Caden's website. And also today I taught another workshop. Caden, tell us just a little bit about this, this Haiti, mission trip and and your experience um i guess i can speak for both of us we enjoyed going and just creating relationships with the people down there and making new friends and forever remembering them and that even when we do go back they'll still remember us and that's pretty awesome that's amazing for everybody listening right now on the podcast watching the video <clears throat> here's what i want you to consider this is what caden has done what tracy's done so well when your student someday walks into an interview, one of the most difficult things to answer is the question of, tell me about yourself. A lot of students that have built a website inherently without knowing that they're doing this, they are answering, they are slowly building their content around answering that question. And here's what Caden can do someday. They can say, well, Caden, tell me about yourself. You like art. And Caden can now say, well, ma'am or sir, um, who's on the phone interviewing me, are you in front of a web browser? I, I'd like to show you, if you don't mind. Yeah, I am. Can you go to cadenc.com? Or maybe they already have this because when Caden applies to college, he's going to fill this in. He's going to say, here's my website if you want to learn a bit more about me. They're going to they're gonna see his travel and they're going to see a three-dimensional version of his whole family. I have a strong passion for traveling. And the Bahamas, the whole family, Haiti, by the way, great photos too. Everything is so cool. And Mexico, some of the other students were inspired that you were able to wrap all the images around this. You did a great job. 
doing this and then Jamaica as well. So if your students are on the fence or maybe they're a little bit shy, which is totally fine, this is gonna help them show off all the hard work they're doing outside of school or during school, school projects, and it's going to let them start to think about, tell me about myself. And here's what Caden did without even knowing. He talks about his projects, his purpose, and his passion. So his art projects, his purpose, which is to give to others, and then some of his passion, which is travel. And he's really put this together nicely. And that's kind of one of our, our, our little ways to do that. Okay, guys, so tell me, tell me more about the project. Um, what would you suggest to other people who are on the fence about building their own website? Um, I don't know. Don't think too much about it. Uh, go with this simple outline. I don't, I'm not really sure. I don't think they'll regret doing one. I think it's something great that they can always look back to. And it's some, like you always say, something positive online, use your online time, screen time for something positive. And it, it really is a very positive way. And people do like to, you know, show off what they've done or if they're proud of something. And especially kids love that. So it's a great way for kids to do something like this. And Caden seemed, it seemed like it was pretty easy to follow and um, your instructions were great. That's awesome. Thank you. I want to show people really quickly um, what we did last night. Now, some people are on the fence and Caden, I want to show you what you have built in now here. And, and one of the things is, let me see if I can share this here real quick. One of the hidden benefits that not a lot of people think about is we're going to show Jasmine, J-A-Z. Jasmine is in Long Beach, California here. She's a senior. She's already been accepted to her dream college. She's won some awards. She talks a lot about mechanical engineering, rockets, roller coaster, mousetraps, and more. Youth group and key club. So volunteer projects and passion uh, on the mechanical engineering she got to take a flight. Uh, she does. She describes everything. She does a great job. Really, really proud of this young woman. But her projects, she embedded videos, which are really great. If if your student has a video, you can upload it to YouTube, embed it in here. Pretty easy, pretty basic. But let me show you something really cool about Jasmine that I showed all these students yesterday. Caden, this is going to happen for you soon. When a college Google's Jasmine. They're gonna, there's a lot of Jasmine Ramirez's and, and Google will find it a bunch of different ways. But when they Google her, they're gonna do this. They're gonna Google, let's go to google.com so this is easy to look at. They're gonna Google Jasmine Ramirez, S-A-T-O, the name of the school. When they do that, the first thing that comes up is her website, her personal website that we built with her, right? And that's what's starting to change is now Jasmine's Google results have all these different things, but her personal website is the first thing that comes up so you can find the Jasmine that you're looking for. And that's gonna happen for you here soon as well, Caden. You'll be able to put your best foot forward. Uh, Caden, are there any other social networks that you might build out differently now that you have a website that's branded? Just uh, maybe get on Twitter, uh, start my Instagram more. Uh, that's pretty much all I use. Cool. Tracy, any, any suggestions for any parents on the fence? Like, do I really need this? Do you think it's smart to start it early? I think it is. Um, I'm actually considering maybe getting our 12 year old to start one too. Just gives them, like I said, something positive to do online and, and they like, this is the future. This is what our kids need is this is what they have to learn. So I think it's great to have them do something like this for themselves that they can show off. That's amazing and such great advice. We're suggesting that students as early as eighth grade, seventh or eighth grade in middle school start building this. I was in Ohio last week and we taught a bunch of eighth graders how to do this. And at the end of this session, I thought, oh, I'm keeping them through lunch a little late. And the, the cooler crowd in the back, the girls said, this is actually really fun. Lunch can wait. Uh, let's, let's finish this. This is cool. And that was the biggest compliment that the students left going, I have something complete. I, I have a purpose online. So I'm honored. Hey, thank you to you too. Caden, congrats to you for spending some time and really packaging your resume together because that's what you've done. Thank you. Uh, three, so good job. Thank you. You're very welcome. Very proud of you. Tracy, thank you for all that you do. You're such a great mom. Making sure you're open dialogue and protecting your family, but also having fun with it. So it's great. Thank you.
Any of you that are watching or listening right now, you can go to smartsocial.com, take our free webinar. It keeps you safe. It also talks a little bit about how you can take the next steps and join what we call the smart social community. And the community has website videos on how you can do this at your own time on demand, or you can hire my team to do what we did for Caden. And we will actually go and build a site with your family so that you have expert guidance, mentoring. You're going to need a coach. Right? We all have a coach, whether it's softball or whether it's an art teacher or no matter what it is, maybe a tour guide, we'd like to be that coach for you, that mentor to make sure that you understand that what you're doing online with a little bit of guidance, it can be really successful. Thanks to both of you. We're really thankful and uh, we'll see all of you on the next episode. Have a great day.